Good evening, guys, and welcome to Africa Web TV. This is Bayo Fireman, and right here is with me, Fioki. Oh my God, it's Fioki. Oh, okay. Fioki in the Netherlands. Come on, I guys. I swear that. All right, Fioki, tell us a bit about yourself. Yo, this is Fioki, your favorite Afrobeat recording guitarist, producer, and music director. I just dropped an album this year called Man, and you guys should go check it out. But meanwhile, I've been in the game for a very long time. I came into the industry 2008, joined the band as the band's guitarist. The first major Afrobeat song, hit song that I recorded on was 2010, was Scapegoat by the Bunch. Yeah! From Scapegoat to Gobe by Davido. <laughs> to Kizane, first single, Would You Lie a Good Time? To Techno Duro Wash. <laughs> to Ferrari, Yemi Alade, to Make and Patranki. Pick up Adekule Goat or Rente Adekule Goat, Simis, first single, Thief, Joromi. If I start to mention, to name all the songs, I won't finish, so let me just stop. You can, you, you can you do your background check. So, this is like, I, I, I'm the spice of Afrobeat. I make sure that Afrobeat was having that sonics and color they, they were missing with my guitar. So, 70% of Afrobeat his songs, Fioki influenced them since 2010 till death. So I decided to say, okay, you know what? What's next? I've, I've been the top Afrobeat recording guitarist. I decided to feature artists, different artists on my projects. I have Simi and Oxlade on Kony Kony. I have also with uh, Tenny. I have uh, uh, Follow You with Chica and Jackie before I drop my album. Okay, can you tell us what has been your biggest challenge in this industry? So the challenge I had being an instrumentalist in the industry was because people didn't pay attention to the creative part of the industry. They only pay attention to the artist. Yeah, so I took it there? upon myself. I said, how do I even break into that mainstream industry? How do I make people understand that? There is Someone other elements there, any it, element yeah. in the production apart from just being a producer. True. Yeah, like when you listen to a beat, there are some stuff that you hear apart from the vocals that spice of the music. I decided to make sure that uh, my guitar stand out. Every other instrumentalist see guitar as instrument, I see guitar as microphone. So mm -hmm. if you are listening to a song, it's either you're listening to lyrics and one instrument that is drawing your attention, that is throwing your body. So That's true. I was That's able true. to do that for every song. So everybody keeps saying, ah, who is that guitar? Who is that? What's that sound? Where is that sound coming from? Before you know, I started giving tag to some of the songs because I didn't get the credit. I decided to do, oh my God, it's Fioki tag. Before you know, everybody wanted, oh my God, it's Fioki. Then at some point, I just felt like I don't even need to even introduce myself anymore because once you hear that guitar, you know it's Fioki. So I've been able to work on myself to, to, to the extent that even if there's another guitarist that is playing it on the song, they say, is that Fioki? I will now have to say, no, that's, that was my younger guitarist. So uh, I've been able to be able to create an industry for instrumentalists, give instrumentalists face. I just say, okay, let me just do something different. I decided to drop album featuring the artist. So no, 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 no. Guys, you've been <laughs> hearing so much amazing words from Fioki. But let's keep it on rolling. And Fioki, tell us, what was your biggest hit in terms of you being an instrumentalist in the industry? Which of the songs did you really get noticed in? One of the biggest songs I recorded on was uh, Oya Wojo. From Kizania? Kizania. So, yeah. wap, wap, wap. <laughs> Uh, I was on Scapegoat. People didn't know I was a guitarist on Scapegoat. I was in Gobe. People didn't know I was a guitarist on Gobe. But uh, would you actually make, made reference to all the songs? They, so the article was like, uh, the Jacoblon team up with Fioki, the guitarist behind Scapegoat by the bunch. So I was getting credit for would you becoming a hit song and getting credit for a previous hit song that people didn't know I was a guitarist on. Wow. So I now got two credits for one hit song and the previous, previous one. From there, everybody started looking for Fioki. Adekule goes see me. I did all the songs to flavor. In fact, I'm flavors guitarist on stage. Levels, doings, culture, 
flavor of Africa, Igele the Traveler, Time Full Album, all those songs. I'm on guitar, I'm the guitarist on those songs. I'll be performing Flavor on stage. I'll be big, big, big thanks to Flavor because Flavor has really done a lot for me. He has been able to actually push me on his platform and other artists too. But Flavor, because of stage performances, he has always been giving me opportunity to perform. So and people I get to see you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it a lot. For me, this is really intriguing, you know. There are music and there are some certain kind of things that make this music to be really come a perfect music. And Pioki happens to be one of the guitarists. You know, there is no melody without a guitar playing on and forth, you know. You get the vibes, the melody, all in all. Pioki, tell us, what do you have to say to the upcoming artists slash guitarists in the business industry? My advice is always, don't ever try to be like Whiskey, Bonner Boy, David Doe. You know why? Because once you try to do that, you can never be like them. Everybody will always say, you are sounding like whiskey. Once you start saying you are sounding like this, you are sounding like this, that means you are not original. Always make sure that you stand out by yourself. Let, let, let people say, I like your sound. Once they say, I like your sound, means you are original. You are not sounding like anybody. And don't be in a hurry. Make sure that you do your homework. Listen to the songs and people are vibing to these hit songs. Ask yourself, what, what are the elements that make this song hit song? Is it the beat? Is it the lyrics? Is it the, the choice of music? Listen to it very well. Work on yourself and look at yourself and listen to yourself. Am I actually good enough to actually come out? Because I keep telling people, if you come out without making proper preparation, you are going to go back to the studio. So make sure before you come out, do your homework very well. Because if you don't get proper content, you are going to waste money promoting what you are going to what people will, will consume well. Your consumers are the people that are listening to the song. If you don't consume your song properly, you're going to go back to the studio and spend another money. So before you even come out, make sure you get it right. Do your homework very well. well. That's another advice from Fioki, yeah? Yeah. And keep it rolling, man. This is Africa Web TV, live and direct in Rotterdam with Fioki, the guitarist. So Fioki, please, can you tell us your very, very, very best album now in town. Just give us a hint. I know I've had to follow me with Chike and Gaiki, but tell us more about it, man. Yo, guys, so after several years in the industry as a top guitarist, I said, okay, what's the next level? Okay, let me start featuring this artist. So I took it to the next level by just dropping an album. I did my album on my 40th birthday in January because I turned 40 in January. I said, okay, what, what should I name this album? So I decided to name it Man. You know why I named it Man? Because I've served, I've studied, I've done so many things. I think I've grown enough to be a man and my, my experience in life as well. So I just, I just decided to say this album is Man. And I feature like 24 artists, 14 tracks. I have uh, artists from Portugal, I have Tanzania, I have uh, four Ghanaian artists, Sefa, uh, Jackie, D Black, and Kevin Boy. Then I have Peruzi, Rikasani, Yemi Alade, Bela Shmoda, Simeon Oxlade, Chike. Name them, plenty of artists. 14 tracks, 24 artists. The first ever guitarist to feature mainstream artists and drop album, Fioki. Go check it out and make sure you stream it and share it to your friends, okay? So guys, from Bayo to you guys, try to check out Man. That is the title of the album from Fioki. From Fioki. It's called <laughs> Man. And in this album, you get to find CK, Yemi Alade. So guys, check it out. And Fioki, on behalf of myself and those behind the camera and Africa Web TV crew in general, we say thank you for having us. All right, guys, thank ladies so and much. gentlemen, thank you for this amazing view. This is Bio Fire Me for Africa Web TV, chilling with Fioki right here in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I'm a king, yes, I'm a king, I think. I'm a king, yes, I'm a king.